And today is the day. Here is a live look at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, where the women's NCAA basketball tournament gets underway tonight for the semifinals. And fans are already making their way here to Cleveland, and there is just so much to do. Kai Torquay is live this morning at the Huntington Convention Center, where a free fan fest continues today, Kai Tor. Hey there, Isabel. So right now there is a fresh sort of excitement just boiling over in downtown Cleveland. I mean, it's one thing to be watching the Final Four, but for Cleveland to be hosting it, I mean, that's just basically an excuse to party all day. And speaking of parties, in just a few hours, Tourneytown will be going for the second day here at the Huntington Convention Center. The event is a free fan festival jam-packed with games, giveaways, food, and licensed merchandise. There's also a cool series of panel conversations called Beyond the Baseline, where coaches, athletes, and other female leaders will discuss and celebrate women's basketball and women's advancement. Monica Gustin, executive director of the 2024 NCAA Women's Final Four, says inspiring young girls is one of the best part about Cleveland being the host city this year. Young girls who play sports become women who lead, and we could use a lot more of that, so I'm excited to see who's going to be next. This is such a time to host women's basketball. It is unbelievable. We bid on this event in 2018. Women's basketball, college basketball, was at a different place in time then. It was going to be a great event. This is beyond our wildest dreams. Tourneytown runs from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. today in the first game of the Final Four between North Carolina State and University of South Carolina tips off at 7. But first up, coming up at 5.30, we are going to be doing a live interview with a spokeswoman for NCAA, and we're going to chop it up a bit more about how this tournament is going to change Cleveland basically forever. Isabel. Wow, so much excitement here, like you mentioned, Kaitor. We're looking forward to that interview. Thank you so much.